Mechanical circuitry support, otherwise known as ventricular assist devices or LVADs, are machines that help do the work for the heart. These are used in patients with heart failure. These LVADs have changed the way we treat heart failure. So in the past, if someone had heart failure and their heart was not adequately supplying blood to the tissue, they would be essentially have the option of getting a heart transplant or dying. So this is actually the device itself. And this sits inside the body. And then one end connects directly to the heart and then one end connects to the aorta. And then this cable is, sits here and actually hooks up to the battery, which the patients usually wear. This device inside basically has an impeller or you, know, you can think of it as a motorboat engine that's rotating in here as fast as 10,000 revolutions per minute. This is what we call an axillary flow device. The newer devices are centrifugal flow devices. So this is a newer device, also fits in the heart like this. Unlike this, which has an axillary pump that's spinning, this is, has all magnets, and so the propellers are essentially floating, and it sucks the blood out. There's less contact between the blood and the propellers and that makes it easier on the blood and less complications. And obviously these are quite small. Uh, the outside the patients wear a battery that uh, looks like this on their vest. And with the right battery support, they can, um, with their LVADs, they can be out and about for 12 or 14 hours a day. And then they can have extra batteries with them. And so even, even longer than that. We see people, you know, most importantly, getting their life back. I was sick there for about a month. Uh, couldn't realize I was in heart failure. Uh, when I, they flew me here, uh, I was in heart, liver, and kidney failure. Uh, they put the VAD in. I spent four months in the hospital recovering and the VAD basically uh, pumped the blood better through my system and my liver came back and my kidneys somewhat came back. So uh, I spent four months through the recovery and then uh, I was able to go home and I've been uh, doing pretty well at home. I carry around batteries in the controller. Sleeping with it's kind of strange. Uh, you gotta have it next to you at night because it can't go too far. Showering is a little different. You gotta put it in a bag and wear the bag while you shower. You don't want to get it wet. But besides the limited stuff, it's, it's not too bad. We think that LVAD technology is going to continue to evolve. And what are the, the changes that we see in the next few years? Well, um, the devices are getting smaller and smaller, easier to put in um, that way, easier on the patient. So the, the next generation of these devices are about the size of your thumb. Um, so that's gonna be a big change. We see the batteries and the peripherals that the patients are gonna be wearing are gonna be smaller. So much more closely resembling a cell phone, something that you can put in your pocket and the batteries are gonna be smaller. Right now they have to have two batteries at once. And we see the next generation of batteries being much smaller. The ultimate change that we see on the horizon for LVAD is totally implantable devices. I think once it's all internal, we're going to be seeing more and more patients opt for LVADs and not get transplants. And remember, LVADs are on the shelf. There's a limited number of transplants in the United States. There's a limited number of donors. LVADs, we can make more. So I think this, you know, the sky is the limit in what we're seeing with LVADs.